So just before the video does start, a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch. I basically do trading guides for both Xbox and PlayStation for all budgets from silver trading to icon trading with shadow trading and special card trading. On top of that, I do investments for weekend league, pre-team of the week and event investing. And you do have the ability to DM me one on one with any individual questions. And you can get all this for £4.99 a month or free if you have Amazon Prime. Yo, what's up guys and welcome to a brand new video and a video finally on uh, on the channel. So we haven't uploaded for the last 30 days because we've been going absolutely ham over on Twitch stream 14 hours a day uh, for literally the last 30 days averagely. So yeah, I haven't really left any time for YouTube but we'll make a little bit of time for YouTube because I enjoy changing it up, makes it a little bit more interesting for me. So, what are we going to start off with when we're back to YouTube? Nothing other than a, a bit of a fan favourite in terms of Road to Glory. So. We are going to be doing the zero to a million coins in 20 hours. Uh, so I've got 20 hours from a brand new account to make a million coins. Now, these 20 hours are going to be spread across seven days, which means an average of three day, three hours a day and one day having two hours uh, because you can't physically do it in one sitting. Uh, you'll get market suspended, as you guys know, when you're spamming the market loads. Uh, there's just not enough content really to make it too usable. Plus... It makes it way better for a viewing experience because if you're watching this episode one or episode two, especially when it's just come out, you can join the stream and see how you know the further episodes are going. Uh, now there should be seven episodes, but sometimes it does seep over to eight episodes if I'm not spending the exact three hours a day. Sometimes I'm only spend two hours a day, uh, and therefore we seep into an eight episode. But uh, as as long as the combined time is less than twenty hours, that is all that matters. Now, uh, what do these episodes have in them? They basically got trading. Few different trading uh, methods. They have investing in it. They have obviously I do a few SBCs to get going. Uh, they'll show you basically just how I make how I would go around taking a fresh account to a million coins in uh, as little time as possible. Um, and yeah, so the timer we've got 20 hours on the timer. The timer will go down every time we're searching for players, so trading. Anytime we're buying or selling cards, so if you know if I'm listing a player up, the timer will be going down. If I'm researching uh, SBC solutions, it'll go down. If I'm buying plays for SBC solutions, it'll go down. Again, if I'm trading, it'll go down. Uh, the only time it won't go down is if I've listed a player and I'm not doing anything. So if I've like listed a player and I've just got off this account, the time is not going to go down an hour while that player is listed because theoretically, I'm not really trading for an hour. I'm just the player's uplisted and I'm you know I'm not trading, I'm not buying, I'm not selling anything. It's just chilling there. So uh, that's the only time I guess it won't go down while there is activity happening on the account. But without further ado, let's get this time started and uh, yeah, let's go and start it. So this doesn't madly matter where you go for. I'm actually going to be picking Brazil because it's quite good for some of the basic uh, SBCs. But really no trading kind of happens until we get to the kit selection. So the reason trading happens when you get to the kit selection is because uh, the kits are tradable. Nothing else at the beginning is going to be tradable. We do get ourselves some nice untradables there, maybe help us with the uh, beginning SBCs. Obviously, you get a lone player. Doesn't really matter what you go with, but we'll just try and get through this as fast as possible. This is the first stuff place where stuff becomes tradable. All these kits you can go and list up. Uh, the safest bet to always go with Premier League kits. We're going to go with the uh, Chelsea kit right here. And the second kit, we've got the Arsenal kit there. We've got the Crystal Palace kit. Some of the, silver, some of the Saudi Arabian kits that are silver might actually sell on. Like, for example, the Ipswich kit might sell on, but you're going to get a much faster sale on the Arsenal kit. And now we come to badges, and again... We do have Crystal Palace. I can't imagine Crystal Palace would be too expensive. Bristol City is probably going to be a, a... Please don't be a golden or rare badge. Please be a silver badge. Yes. So, silver badges can actually sell on for a lot more than gold badges. Just they normally take longer to sell on. Because the amount of people that open silver packs in comparison to the amount of people that open gold packs is a lot, lot lower. So, now what I'm going to do is show you guys how uh, those badges and those kits are going to make you your starting coins. So, you head over to match day and you're going to go and switch your Bristol badge with the bronze badge. You can now see, ah, there is a glitch. You have to back in and out of FIFA because for some reason the game makes them untradeable. So you got back in a FIFA and then we got back, sorry, back out of FIFA. And then we're going to go back, back in a FIFA. We'll keep the timer loading. It shouldn't take ages to load in, he said, hopefully. We're lying on EA Sports to not mug him over. Yep, are we going to load in? <laughs> oh, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. There we go, we're loading. But um, yeah, it's a weird glitch. I found this out the first time I was, I did a run of this one. Of the uh, Road to Glory. Basically, I don't know. I don't know why this glitch occurs, but you'll be able to see that that Bristol badge wasn't tradable, but now it is tradable. Now, because we picked a silver badge, it should be quite rare and hopefully expensive. Survey says 
yeah, 900 coins. So to be realistic, I'm going to list them up for 600 or list it up for 600 just because I kind of want to get the coins ASAP. I don't really want to be waiting around for ages. We're going to make that our away kit and I don't know how we can make one our home kit. But we're going to see what the Chelsea kit is worth. And again, we got this for free at the beginning. Scroll along. You are going to want to undercut. 4k, 3.6k. Going to try and get to that fifth knife minute because that's what they should be selling for. So, come on. There's a lot of... What's very surprising is there's a lot of Chelsea kits listed and they're all 4k. You'd think with this sort of supply of Chelsea kits that they'd be uh, a little bit a little bit more, but... Or a little bit less, sorry. But yeah, 2.8k is insane. Normally only get like five, 600 coins. We might have hit the jackpot for the Chelsea kit. We'll throw that for there for 2k. As you can already see we're already on 2.5k and all we've done is listed up the kits. Now, I'm not quite sure. How can we... There we go. Set up our away kit. Let's go and set that up right there. And the Arsenal kit... A game we got for free at the beginning. There we go, 1.5k. So it looks like we're going to get ourselves about 3k, or probably even no, 4k, just from both the kits. So let's go and see if we can get that listed. And then I'll show you guys how you can go and spend that starting 4k. So we got 2.5 right there. We'll throw that up there for 2k. But yeah, an amazing, amazing start right there. And you can see we haven't even done trading. All we've done is generally pack a bunch of kits, list these kits and badges up for way less than they're worth. And they have already sold on. And I imagine that Arsenal kit will go and sell on pretty soon. There we go. So we're already sitting on 2.3k. Now what we're going to do is show you the first basic SBCs you're going to be wanting to do. Actually, no. You have to go and do these SBCs. I will let the timer will go down, but I won't bother showing you these. Uh, because they're untrade, you know the beginner ones. We can even do any SBC. So we'll do these. I won't bother showing you them, and then I'll show you the first tradable SBCs you're going to go and do. So I've just finished the basic SBCs. So now what we're going to do is, and they're the untraded ones, basically. We're now going to get underway with uh, the tradable starter SBCs. So if you head over to SBCs. Then you head under way, head underway with basics or foundations, I think they call it nowadays. There's actually a tradable set. Not everyone knows this, but if you go to uh, League and Nation basics, these are actually tradable basic SBCs. The rest of them are untradable. So these go and give you like a tradable silver pack, a tradable 7.5, and a tradable 7.5. And they're extremely, extremely cheap to do. For example, this SBC generally just needs you to put in five bronze players, all from the same league but different nations, and you'll get yourself um what is it? You'll get yourself three silver rares and nine silver non-rares which generally discards for 2.2 so you can do this sbc generally cheaper than what it discards for so what you're looking for in your club are players from basically the same sort of nation so we've got one spfl player there do i have another spfl player no you basically want lots of players from the same league but different nations i'll be honest with you it might look like i might have to go out and buy loads of different players yeah so what we'll do is we'll probably just go and pick we got Aussie mate. Let's see who would be good. I kind of want to keep the Brazilians because I think they could be useful for SBCs down the line. Do you know what? We're going to pick up the Scot uh, the guy from the Scottish League. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and buy four bronze. I could literally go and bid on them for 150 coins, but I don't think it'd be as efficient. I literally now just have to go and find myself four players from the Scottish League who are from different nations for 200 coins. So pretty easy right there. You're just going to go League over to Scottish. Just going to go... Right mids, and again, ideally, I'm going to be avoiding Scottish players, um, just because, what's it called? There's going to be loads of Scottish players in the Scottish League, so ideally looking for different ones. So nothing there. What about a left wing? No, what about a right mid? I see, you can have one Scottish player. So there we go. So we've got ourselves a Dutch player, so I could win him on a 150 coin bid. Uh, we'll put a bid on him, why not? There we go, and now we're going to look for a cam, and again, you can get Irish players pretty easily, I think you get English players pretty easily, and there we go, because there's another mending anytime soon, we'll just go and buy it. Again, I could just look for an open 150 coin bid, but it's okay, so striker, what we're looking for right here is a non-Scottish player, and then we're going to get our, there we go, just for a bid on him, it's not going to be hard to win him, and now we can go and get ourselves our Scottish left mid. And the SBC is not costing us too much. And again, we're going to get ourselves a premium silver players pack back from that. Oh, we have to wait a little while on that. Let's see. If I take out the 200 coin buy now, and I just put 150, how long am I going to have to wait? There we go. Much better. So all I've got to do now is wait for one, two, three players to end. So we've gone and got ourselves all the players. Ended up buying him for 200 coins. If someone outbidded me or if it was someone from my stream... Who knows, eh? That is, the, that is the joys of doing this on stream. So, of course, they're all sold on, looking good. But we've gone and got these two players for 150 coins bid, which means we had one player pat pulled. We won two on bid, uh, which means, what's that, 300 coins. We bought two of them, so that's another 400. So, basically, 700 coins right now for a premium silver player pack that generally discards at 2.2k. 
this is just one of the best ways of you know getting those guaranteed coins at the beginning so let's head over foundation right there league and nation basics let's head over here and let's go and throw in our mateys so yep this is basically guaranteed coins we're going to do the other two generic svcs after this uh, the other two actually are nowhere near as cheap but uh they're still not too bad nonetheless so game maximum one from each nation there we got our irishman we got our Englishman. Irishman, Englishman, I think even maybe Northern Irishman, Northern Irishman are uh, pretty common nations for this one. But there we go. It's premium silver players pack. Not too bad. Let's go and get that open. So again, remember this pack only costs us 700 coins. Uh, remember, a lot of people don't even know about this being a uh, tradable set. They just presume all basic SVCs are untradable. Anyone you're ideally looking for left mids, right mids, CDMs, cams. Uh, we're not going to get too much out of that, to be honest. Luckily, a lot of these silvers are worth a little bit because of um, marquee matchups. So we can go and sell this Carlos right here for probably like 700 coins. Uh, I don't think he's worth anything crazy. You still get like 400 coins for everyone because of marquee matchups. Are you going to go for anything? Maybe get like 700 coins there. But yeah, the silver rares aren't going to work. Actually, wait, this guy might work quite well in our uh, in our silver SBC. But yeah, we're going to list these players up right now. And uh, crack into the next basic SBC. So we've gone and done the second SBC. A little bit of bidding, a little bit of buying going on. Um, but yeah, so we picked up the CDM right here for 350. This cam was bought for 550, and the right wing was bought for like one was bought for 650. So it was like 650, 550, 1.2. Uh, so just under, or maybe just over 1.5. Uh, using our untradable center mid here and using our untradable left mid to make it a little bit cheaper. So paid just under 1.5k right there for a 7.5k pack, so not too bad. After we have done this, we will show you guys a little bit of trading. Because uh, even though it probably would be more efficient for me to do advanced SBCs, I do think it's very boring for you guys to watch a trading road to glory and it's just SBC McGee. So still we're going to get this 7.5k pack. It's going to be a rare gold. It's going to be a Lalich, Illich, Lalich, whatever. He's played for Southampton, did he? No, there might have been another one. Whatever. All right, discard these. No point even trying to go for them. Don't think they're worth anything. We'll keep them because they might sell on. But there we go. Uh, yes, discard. So what we'll do is we're going to list up those players. I'll actually go and show you as well. We sold on some of the silvers. And then we'll get that last uh, SBC done. Some of the silvers we packed earlier have already sold on. We're already on 5k, which uh, isn't too bad. So there we go. Some of the silvers selling on. And obviously we have the kit. So... Right now, Tramps list with a few silvers. Hopefully, we can sell them on, get up to about 6, 7k. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that last SBC and go and sell the uh, contents from that last pack. Oh, so we've uh, gone and completed this SBC. A little bit more than uh, what I wanted to do it for, but did get a uh, Stones for 700. We'll throw him up there for 950. So, in the mean, in the midst of building this team, managed to get him. So, uh, yeah, this team, 250 for him, uh, 500 between both these guys, so that's 750, and then uh, 700 coins for that. So. What was that 2.1k right there for another 7.5k pack a little bit more than what i wanted to pay but uh yeah these players aren't the cheapest in the world but you guarantee coins nonetheless so let's go and get this pack open then what we'll do is we're going to sell the contents of this pack um and then what we'll do is a little bit of shadow trading for you guys so let's go and get this open and see what we're gonna get let's see what the have for us game oh gold non-rare card beautiful Please tell me that wasn't the 7.5k pack and that was the one where you get silvers, bronzes, and golds. No, that was 7.5. We get a hawk. Brilliant. I don't think they're actually worth anything nowadays. Send you back up here. I uh, don't believe contracts actually sell on nowadays. Uh, that, that's actually quite a cool ball. I doubt balls sell on though. Does it sell on? Uh, maybe we'll keep it. Uh, Palmer kit. Doubt that sells on. Okay, maybe a squeeze 200 coins for that. So let's go send all that to the club and let's get that second pack opened. And then uh, we'll go and see. Uh, well, then we'll go and crack underway some trading. So, four golds, four bronzes, four silvers, golden and rare. So, that means hopefully some good silvers, maybe. Left mids, right mids. Uh, yeah, pretty, pretty sad pack. I don't think we'll get a crazy amount of money from that. But, yeah, we'll go and set the contents of both those contents of both those packs and then crack underway the first trading method of the video. So now that we've gone and sold on a bunch of players, we're going to go and crack underway with the first bit of trading. The first bit of trading is going to be uh, shadow trading. Now shadow trading is when you basically trade with gold cards with shadow and you buy them for the same price they are with a shadow than they are without a shadow. So yeah, basically it's a bit of, bit of learning the market with shadow. Now the filter I normally set up for this is 700 coins uh, maximum bid and a 2k minimum by now. The reason for this is anything under 2k normally gets binned or bought very, very fast. Even if it's not a deal, people just buy it. 
Uh, so I like trading with cards over 2k. The reason you've got to go maximum price 750 is because there are way too many cards normally over an hour with 750. So the first thing for this filter, there basically has to be less than one card over an hour. Or sorry, one card or less. The reason for this, you're going to be using a mechanic called compare price back out. The mechanic of compare price back out is basically where you can refresh on the 59th minute. Um, you can refresh on the 59th minute of your filter. So basically I can see on the 59th minute and as long as I'm pressing square and circle, it will show me all the brand new players that pop up on this filter as long as there are none over or no more than one over an hour. Now the cards you are going to buy on this filter is you're basically just going to be buying anyone who is, the, who is about the same price as they are without a shadow. So for example, if Mendy is one point, I oh know that wouldn't work with Mendy. Let's say Mendy is 2k without a shadow, I'll buy him 2k with a shadow because theoretically a shadow as a 3-4k chem style should add value to what he sells for without a uh, shadow. So maybe he's 2k without a shadow, but he's 3k with a shadow, buy for him for the same price as he is without a shadow. So what you're going to do is you're going to sit over here, you're going to press square and circle. And again, this method is really, half of it is market knowledge. You've got to know how much they sell for. And half of them is, I guess, me able to snipe them. Now, how are you meant to learn what they sell for? Um, I've recommended way of learning what these cards sell for, or how to learn what they sell for, is add them to your transfer targets. So for example, if I want to know what Navas sells for, I'm just going to go onto just the normal market. I'm going to go search Navas, Shadow. I'm going to find the cheapest one on the market. I'm going to add it to my transfer targets. Uh, and if it goes and sells on, I can now know that he sells for about 5k with a shadow. So that's basically the plan of action. So you're going to sit here, keep pressing square and circle until a deal pops up. I'd say Gaia probably wouldn't be too bad. I mean, Gaia without a shadow does sell for... Gaia without a shadow sells for 1.3k. Therefore, I could go off the presumption that him with a 3-4k chem sell should be a little bit more. Again, this method is all about learning the market. All about learning what they sell for. Okay, so Sal, I believe, is a good buy because Sal's gold card is 3.3k. So we've generally got him cheaper than what his gold card even sells for. But we've got him with a 3-4k chem sell of a shadow. So... We're already guaranteed 150 coins, and that's what he is without a cat shadow. Obviously, you're looking for about a K profit per card. Cat caught my tongue. So, got him for 3K. Let's have a little look then. Sour of a shadow. There's one there for 3.5. You don't even have to worry about selling it for the cheapest. Let's have a little look. We've got a few 4.5s right there. We've got a 4.2. So, I think I might be able to get 4.1K for him, which means we turn over a 900 coin profit, which isn't isn't too bad. Uh, obviously, we could be more ambitious than this one for 4.5, but because we've only got... 9.7k we don't really want to be madly ambitious with our prices so what we're going to do right now is we're going to go and list up our sale for 4.1k should sell on very very fast and uh yeah turn over a nice little 900 coins but the idea is you're just going to keep doing this you're going to keep learning what they sell for by either adding players to your transfer market or just really experimenting if you're just buying and selling players you're going to eventually learn what they sell for i actually did buy nico shorts a second ago uh but uh, i messed up the recording but i got the nico shorts at 2k Sold him for 2.3k. Obviously, that's not really... That's like a 200 coin profit, which means I'm now not going to buy Nico Schultz if he pops up under this filter. Not unless I was going to sell him on more of a lazy buyer. But that is the method. What I'm going to do right now is show you guys some deals I managed to get under the filter. So we've got ourselves four deals. We've got ourselves a Dignate at 3.2, a Diddy at 3, a Zakiri at 3.1, and a Makano at 3. So give or take, they're all bought for 3. Let's have a little look at how much they're actually selling for with Shadow. So again, got them all under the same filter I showed you guys earlier. So in Diddy, we're going for three. Come on, don't let me down. I'll be honest with you, I don't madly know Diddy's price. Not looking too bad though, Mr. In Diddy. In Diddy, we'll get three, nine, four. So that's a 700 coin profit right there. Again, it doesn't sound overly uh, glamorous, but we're sitting on 10k. So what can you expect? Got him for 3k. Nice. There's one there for three, two, but he'll sell for four. UPA. Let's see what you're going for. Pretty sure he's four. I've got some data from this morning on him. Yep, we'll get 4k for him. And the last one is... I'm brain dead. I can't remember the last one. Here's the last one. So, so far, we're looking to make about 2.8k Zakiri at that career for 2.1. Oh, sorry, 3.1. Let's have a little look. How much are you selling for, Zach? Zach, Zach, Zach. 4k again. Ooh, a little bit less for him. Ooh. Do you know what? Might just list him up for 3.3. Take like a 200 coin gain and then just use the coins. Because there's no point for me to try and really sell cards on overly lazy buyers right now because. You know, it's just going to take so long to sell on. Uh, and I believe that we've had a Koke sell on. There you go. The stones we bought earlier and the Koke who we bought for three already flipped for four one. So looking good so far. So we've got to sell four more deals, including Coutinho for two, Equinado for 4.2, a Endon Bele for two, and a Mukulele for three. So 
Can already tell that Mukulele for three is going to bite me. But what is good is that it's a UCL card. And uh, very strangely enough, UCL cards actually sell on for a little bit more than gold cards. But yeah, that, that UCL Mukulele was a complete nothing miss by. Uh, I'd be lying if I said I bought him thinking it was uh, one of the other guys. But I should still get like... I might sell him for 3k for lazy buyers, but yeah. Not uh, the best. Or I might bait list him. Uh, and I'll show you guys what bait listing is in a sec. Uh, End on belly on the other hand. He was bought for two. Yeah, not bad. Pretty good. Uh, get 2.6k from him. It wouldn't be anything too crazy. Coutinho seems really scuffed that he sells with a shadow. But he actually does pretty, pretty well with a shadow. Uh, what's he going for right now? He said he does really well. He's going for 2.5. So nothing too crazy in that game. Don't have to worry about selling him for the cheapest. 2.5 should, should sell on. Uh, what else did we go and pick up? Mars, do we pick up Marcelo? Let's see. I can't madly remember what else we bought. But yeah, so far this set of uh, Shadow Deal is not the best. But, uh, oh yeah, Quadrado for 4-2. And, yeah. Let's have a look. Quadrado for 4-2. I believe I can sell him for 5-2 with a Shadow. Quadrado, Quadrado, Quadrado. It's actually a little bit easier to win the cards that are like 4-5k than the cheap ones. Because everyone feels very confident with the cheap ones. Whereas they don't feel as confident with the expensive ones. See if I was right on buying him for 4-2. Yeah, there you go, brilliant. We're selling for about 5.2k right there. Yep, nope, easier over 5.2. We can probably get, what, 5 point... We go, we go 5.3k on him, so not bad. That'd probably be like a 1k profit after tax. Uh, the Indidia's already sold on. I don't know if this is another one of the Shadow Deals. There goes Zakaria selling on, so not too bad. Uh, what we'll do is probably do an SBC, because uh, a few of them are going to sell on quite slow sales, so... We're doing SBC while waiting, and then we'll get back to that once they've uh, gone and sold on. Just before we do some SBCs, we actually have some of these uh, season rewards. Now, I don't think there's anything interesting in season rewards, but we are going to get something interesting in the foundations. Now, what this could do, this could easily give us a few coins. This could easily load. Oh, uh, yeah, this could easily give us a few coins. There we go. This could also give us some untradeable packs, and those untradeable packs could be used for the SBCs. So, before you start doing any SBCs, do feel free to just go and do this. You get yourself some chem styles. There actually are a few other um, objectives I can do to get some more coins, like moving everyone in the right position and stuff like that. But there you go. Going to get some, uh, a nice easy like 500 coins for completing all of this. In fact, I get myself another 750 after doing this one because I get the uh, group reward. But, you know, just, uh, just some small stuff. Obviously, you can get some coins. There you go. Group reward, 500 coins. Very, very easy. Nothing too crazy, but it's always good to start it out. Then we've got these two as well, which is going to give us some... There you go, the, young, the common players right there, which will again help us with some of the advanced SBCs in a sec. Let's go and get that second one done. Looking good. And I think it will give us a... What's this? A gold pack for doing that. Lovely. And whilst we're here as well, we might even have something more on the uh, season progress. Do we have uh, part three of the season progress? No, not yet. All right, so let's go and get that uh, three-player pack done. It's not going to be anything interesting. We have actually had something to sell on as well. Uh, and I say all this stuff right here will just be used for the SBCs. Good thing with the gold pack as well, you can actually get a coin boost. So we'll just skip it because, again, it's very unlikely to be anything interesting. Even if it is anything interesting, it's all untradeable. High rate of play, maybe? Mm, nothing crazy. We'll keep the contracts. But there we go. And the three player pack obviously isn't very interesting. But we'll just skip it and show you guys what we get. Can we get anyone good for SBCs? I mean, centre-backs right now are 900 coins. So every centre-back you pack, as long as you're going to use it, would save you a bit of coins. But no, get a goalkeeper, a CDM, and a striker. So, okay, positions. Up to 15k, though. So, I'll be honest with you, I probably won't go and do the SBC. We'll just get back into it. Shadow trading. This 15k has come from a Digny bought at 4. Uh, Quadrado we bought for 4.2. And Undombele bought for 2.7. But yeah, we'll get back onto where the shadow trading and uh, show you some more deals. So, we've got loads of deals right here. We've got a Lucas Laver at 3. That's going to get thrown up there for 4.5. Uh, got a few recurring ones. We've got another Meccano for 3 1. Uh, we sell that for 3 9. Uh, we've got ourselves an end on Bello there for 2. We'll flip that for 2.7. And we got ourselves a Deli Alley uh, for 2 and a Cancelli for 3 4. So I think Cancelli sells for 4 5. And I don't know how much more Deli Alley goes for, but let's have a little look. And I think we'll actually get underway of an SBC finally. Uh, we'll, start, we'll maybe sell these on a little bit more of a lazy buyer because, you know, it gives us a little bit of time to do an SBC. Yeah, Freak can sell up. Uh, Freak can sell up for four, so it's not really that good of a deal. Uh, and Deli Ali, we got for two. What's Deli Ali looking like? To be honest, I'm not madly uh, hopeful on Deli Ali. Two five. Okay, no, 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 no. We can probably get three for Deli Ali. So we can get three for Deli Ali. Too ambitious. 
too ambitious, two six for him. So not massive profits right there, but once again, you know, even if you're just selling players, you are going to hopefully learn the market, which uh, you know is decent. But there you go, nice little position change to sell. We'll do an SBC while waiting for him to sell on. So we're waiting for a few things to sell on. Uh, we've done and done this. So as we see, it's probably quite, quite a nice one. You only need 70 ratings, so we just used, used a uh, gold core and uh, used a bunch of bronze players. We bought for 200 coins. So SBC, I think it would have cost me about was that two four six, even just two four. Uh, for another one, one. Pretty only about just under 4k for an electron players pack. Not too bad. Really, you got to do this one just to contribute towards uh, completing the whole SBC. But we've got a 6k other than this. What I might do is I might go and snipe one more deal. Um, once we sell the players on from this pack. So let's go and see what we're going to get from this pack. As I said, I don't really like the first episode being too pack heavy. Uh, especially because I don't really want it being too carried via the packs. But, yeah, don't worry. Nothing nothing too, uh, too much to carry the... Uh, Carry the road to glory in this pack. But yeah, we're going to get ourselves another deal with that shadow filter I showed you earlier. So we got ourselves two more deals. End on Bele 2 2. You sell him 2 7. Literally nothing really on that. Little, arguably a bit of a miss buy. Good deal on Guy though. Got for 2 6. Going to flip that for 4k. So that's a nice 1.2k profit. Still got a 8k to wear. I might go and do another SBC. I might see if I can gut the club a little bit to gather some more coins for uh, shadow trading. So we've got a few more deals, including something that wasn't a deal. But I'm going to show you right now a little concept called bait listing. So when there's people, so for example, we've got the Cancelo here at 4. He only actually sells at 4, but what I can do is I can bait list him for 4.2. Which basically means that he's going to, because he's got a minimum bid, he's going to pop under the filter that I'm doing. And people who don't know his price are going to buy him for 4.2k because they're going to think it's a deal. So basically, you can sell to people doing this method who don't know the prices. A bit like how I bought him at 4k by not madly, well I mean I do know his price, I just kind of misbought him. So what I'm going to do right now is list that for 4-3. And hopefully in the next minute or two, whilst we're checking the prices of these two players, he should sell on. So we've got ourselves a UCL Klossman for uh, 4.2k of a shadow and a Koke for 6 of a shadow. Let's have a little look how much uh, they're worth. They should, by the way, almost sell on instantly when you're uh, quote unquote bait listing. So Klosterman was 4.2k. He's a UCL Klossman as well, which, again, as scuffed as it sounds, it actually really, really does help them sell on. Uh, what's Klossman going for? We get about 5k for him. Yeah, I mean, are there any UCL ones up for 5? No, brilliant. 5-2. Cheapest UCL 155. 5. Might throw him up for 5.2k. Um, and what else we got? Koke for 6k. I'm pretty sure Koke's base rate is 6. So I think we should be good with Koke. Uh, let's see if we're right with that. Okay, there's one there for 6. I mean, there's not the Cancelo selling on instantly, sadly. Uh, let's have a little look. We got one for six. Uh, probably for him for six point nine k. Only a six hundred coin gain, but again, uh, what's it called? We're we'll, uh, we're gaining uh, market knowledge, which again, very very early on is quite useful. So, throw this guy up for five two. Not bad. Eight hundred coins in that, and this guy going to go up for six point nine, which again is going to be six hundred coins in that. So slow profit, but early days is really what you got to expect. So we've gone and done another SBC. Uh, yeah, nothing too crazy in it. I think it only cost us like. Let's have a little gander. Oh, lag. There you go. 3, 7, 9, 14, for about 2, 3, 4.2. Yeah, nothing really like 5k. It's going to give us gold players pack. Not the uh, the most interesting pack in the world. Literally one rare and then uh, a bunch of non-rares. The good thing in, in this is actually that you get quite a lot of UCL cards. And the UCL cards, I think, are going for like minimum 1k for the non-rares. So, not too bad whatsoever. Um... In terms of stuff selling on, let's have a little look. Uh, there you go, Cancelo, bait list worked. Uh, Koke and Endon Bele. So I think all of those ones we've uh, pretty recently bought. So let's go and get that pack opened, uh, and then we'll get back and go with yet more shadow trading. So, something good, but not enough to say that it's basically carried this road to glory. Would be good. Like a 50k player would be nice. Quite ambitious in a pack where you only get one rare gold, I'm not going to lie. It is going to be centre forward, Venza's Weyla, Cassiedo. Cassiedo? It is Cassiedo indeed. Oh, we get uh, this guy. Um, yeah, nothing crazy. Obviously, we know send back to like 900 coins. We might get a few coins from this pack, but yeah, nothing carrying the road to glory. But we'll show you guys some more shadow deals. So, we've, uh, we're have we not looking too bad with some of the deals we've just gone and picked up. Not, I mean, not amazing deals, but uh, they'll do. They will do. So, first off in Diddy 3, he flips a 3 9, so it's a very easy profit right there. Uh, Azul Vitzel has got for 2 8, that will flip for 3 9. Another Azul Vitzel got here at 3, but that will flip for 3 9. Uh, well, so we've got Gundogan got for 2 2, I don't think he's going to be too amazing, I think we'll throw that for 2 7. Uh, so Vitzel is 2 5, flip that for 2 9. 
what else do you have? We've got Lorente. Oh, yeah. See, I saw a lot, I see a lot of Lorentes pop up. Uh, Bell and Rabi can flip for 2-5. We'll see what, uh, what's it called? Canate and uh, Lorente go for now. So, Lorente got 2.5. I think this should be a good buy, he said. Got in for 2-5. Sells at, I don't know, he's only going to be about 3-1. Not too good whatsoever. Canate got for 2k. Canate is going to be... Ooh, we're going to have to bait list him. So game, I'll show you bait listing is. Bait listing is when you kind of add tax to what you bought. Basically, if you miss bought a card, it's a gamble because if they don't sell on, they're going to end up going on bid and you can lose coins. But with someone as cheap as Kanata, it shouldn't be too bad. So I throw him off 2.1 and what should happen is that card should be getting bought because someone should see him, not at his price and buy him. But yeah, some very, very slow profits right here. But in the end of the day, I haven't really traded with too many of these cards. I normally trade with cards who are like, you know, 10... I don't know, like 7 to 10k with Shadow, so not too many of the players popping up there. But yeah, what will happen is, again, it isn't my viewers buying my cards. But like, trust me, it's generally just people doing this method and not understanding the prices. He hasn't sold yet, but hopefully he should sell in a sec. If not, he'll probably end at like 1.5 and I'll take a 500 coin loss. But just the way it is. But yeah, we'll do, go and do an SBC while we wait for them to sell on. Just a little thing as well, we got ourselves a uh, 7, is it 7.5k pack from the, uh, yeah, 7.5k pack from the season rewards. So, so you get any good SBC fodder. So help us with the SVC Robotico and complete. Again, I still don't know when stuff is gold, rare, CDM, Belgium. It's not Tielemans, he's a centre mid. I oh, know it wasn't Belgium, it's was Italian. Not bad though, gold rare. Uh, some good position changes that help us with the SVC. Uh, yeah, not too bad whatsoever. Time to jump underway with a SVC. So we've got quite a big SB uh, like pack SVC right now, but uh, this SVC is very cheap, about 6 7k. Gonna go and give yourself a 45k pack, which is really nice. Use the untradable Quattas right there. Use the untradable uh, Cristante, I think we had. Use the untradable Sefrovic. So, utilizing some of our untradables right there. Uh, in terms of stuff selling on, do I have anything interesting for you guys? Got two things selling on. So, maybe you had a shadow. Any shadow sales? No, not I don't know. Yeah, Klossman sell on. So, we've got the Klossman for, I think it was 4 2, sold for 5 2. So. Nice little 750 right there. But let's go and get this pack opened and then let's go and do probably the last SBC. And uh, I don't know, we'll see, maybe pick up some, some deals and then call it a day. So we are over our three hour threshold, but bear in mind it's day one. I feel like day one uh, would you to do something like that. Oh, and the 45k pack. Unbelievable. And luckily it's the highest rated you can get without it being uh, a board, but uh, it's not really... Nothing really in that. Well, we'll go and sell that, and then we'll go and get the uh, the last SBC done. So we got the last uh, one of the SBCs, and this one cost us about 10k, but it is going to give us a massive XL in coins. Now, I could have done this a lot earlier, which would have made it easier for shadow trading, but I, I don't know. I think to be too heavily carried via SBCs, it kind of makes it a bit boring. I understand that this is the most efficient thing to do, just sit here and do all the SBCs day one. But it just kind of gets a bit boring, and it doesn't really demonstrate many, you know, it doesn't really demonstrate what the whole Royal Glory is about, which is, you know, trading, really. So, uh, yeah, first off, we'll just show you a few things that I've sold on. Lorente you got for there for, what, 2-5. Klossman we got there, and uh, just a bunch of cards we've uh, we've gone and got in the packs. But here we go. We've got some big, big packs for you guys. Uh, as I say, what we'll do is we'll sell everything from this. We'll then go and... So we'll sell everything from this. We'll then go and use the coins to pick up loads of deals, and then we'll call it a day once we picked up loads of deals. I think that'd be the best way to end it. So we'll probably spend about four hours today, I'd say. Come on, rare mega pack. Oh my, only a rare gold. Well, at least we're not getting carried via packs in this Road to Glory. Oh, yikes. Anything in there? I don't know what can even be in there nowadays. Harry Maguire, uh, Gold Herrera, Jurgen Klopp. Just a lot of contracts. <laughs> Brilliant. Right, we'll send them back to the club and we'll uh, sort that out in a sec. But the 50k pack hopefully will be a little bit better. He said... Well, we're not being carried via SVCs in this Road to Glory, which, uh, you know, is always, it's always something. You know, I guess it's way more creditable if we uh, don't get pack, don't get carried by SVCs, but that's two really good, nice packs. We'll uh, sell the contents, contents of that on, and uh, yeah, we'll go and do a bit of shadow trading to end this off. So we have gone and sold on a bunch of the rubbish we got in those packs, but what we'll do right now, hey, we sold the silver off. What we will go and proceed to do is pick up loads of shadow deals, and then we can just list up these shadow deals overnight. So it'd be a nice way of, uh, you know, I guess utilizing the time. So we got ourselves some deals to go and end the uh, the day off. So let me go and run you through them. So to start off here, we got ourselves uh, Navas. 
We got ourselves uh, Navas at 3.9. We should be able to go and get ourselves a 5.7 on that. So that's a really decent buy. We then head over to Klosterman. If you wonder why I'm looking over here, basically I just have a list of what they sell for. Klosterman we bought here at 3.8. We're going to be selling that card for 5. Got another Klosterman here for 4k. We're going to be flipping that one for 5. Got Benjamin Mendy right here at 2k. Going to flip that for 2.9. Uh, got ourselves an Endon Bele there at 2 2. We're going to flip that for like 2 8. Nothing too crazy on that one. Uh, up Meccano, we got here for 2.9. Up Meccano, we should be able to sell for 4. So that's not too bad of a buy as well. And the final deal of the day, we got ourselves an Arthur at 3.4. And an Arthur, we should be able to sell on for yeah, about 4.2k. Uh, I don't think there's anything too crazy. So that is going to be calling it at the end of day one. We have spent 4 hours. We have just spent just over our quota. But. I'm sure in future episodes we will, uh, you know, catch up and uh, spend less hours. Now, it isn't looking uh, crazy. We're on like 60, 70k. Uh, and if I stop the time right now, because I'm not really doing anything. But um, or, uh, to be able to hit the target, you need to be making, if I'm not wrong, 50k an hour. So, uh, yeah, to be on like, what, 70k for four hours when you should be on 200k isn't amazing. But you've got to understand it's a snowball effect. You know, if you have 1k... You're not going to turn 1k into 50k in one hour unless you're doing nothing but SBCs. But because I also want these Road to Glory to teach you guys about trading, I don't uh, I don't want to do. You know, I don't really want to sit here and do nothing but SBCs because it doesn't really teach you guys anything. So the SBCs will just slowly be implemented into the, um, into the Road to Glory. I'll probably have done all the advanced ones by at least episode 3. But um, yeah, hopefully it's just showed you good trading. It showed you, you know, me flipping cards. It showed you filters and how I find those filters. Um... Did attempt a little bit of BPM, but it didn't work too uh, crazily. Oh, yeah, we got a Milinkovic Savage here. But, uh, yeah, for 60, 70k, uh, it's not too bad. In the next episode, I'm actually going to be showing you guys how you can do shadow trading in a different way. I don't have a crazy amount of methods this year in comparison to, let's say, starting on the Road to Glories next year. You know, or where I start them a little bit later in the year. Where I might do a bit of silver trading, trading with silver used for League SBCs. But I've got a few variations of shadow trading that you guys can try out if you don't quite like this sniping one I'm doing right here. Uh, so that should be good for next episode, including doing probably another set of the advanced SBCs. On top of that, um, you won't really get any investing in this episode because if you've got 60, 70k, it's never, it's never efficient to invest. But next episode, I do have some investments I do want to make, so you guys will see uh, us do that. But yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. I'll say we are back to the uh, the old YouTubes. We are uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the content, and we'll see you guys tomorrow with episode two of zero to one million coins in twenty hours.